Hey guys, it's Harry here with a review of the iPad. Okay, so when you start up, there's a nice, beautiful. What the? Okay, well, as you can see, there are a few bugs to be worked out. Like, uh, I just uploaded a video of mine um, onto YouTube, a little Mac uh, ad out of the stuff that I've been, er, off, out of the clips from Apple.com. Sorry, can't get out my words. But that, that was a bug. The video just started playing the music out of nowhere while the app was not running. <laughs> okay, so, back to the video. Um, calendar, very simple, little sleek look. You can choose between day, week, month, or just list. Um, and because I will probably be doing a video soon about how to set up your Google Calendar to wirelessly sync with your iPad and keep it updated along with your Google Calendar on Gmail. Okay, so contact, there's really nothing special. Uh, and it could look cool, but uh, that's about it. Uh, now, there's notes. Which is cool. Um, really, just nothing too special. Uh, there's maps, which I find beautiful. Okay, so I just found my location. But, um, yeah. That's about it with me. and with videos. Uh, I love Survivor. Uh, didn't think Sandra would win, but uh, that's beside the point. Uh, videos are amazing on here uh, for legal reasons. I'm not going to show any of them, but yeah. Um, and then YouTube, of course. Uh, the iPad is having severe problems connecting to the internet. Uh, it does not remember my password. Whenever you go on the internet, it has to remember it all the time. Uh, but so, uh, there's the iTunes, there's App Store, there's all require internet. And here's settings. Very basic. Okay, so, and then if you go into Safari, oh look, the internet started working again, wonderful. You never know when it's going to work. But so, back to that little video. Hmm, let's just reload this. Okay, so. Slowly inching along. Uh, whatever, you get the point there. Um, there's photos. Photos are beautiful here. Um, here's a little fun rocket I made in Photoshop. And... Uh, I don't have any music on here yet. I've been planning to sync my music on there once I get to it. This, uh, the speakers are wonderful on this. Uh, when you hold it in portrait, it's great, but when you hold it in landscape, since the speakers are only right down there, it you can very it's very easy to tell and kind of gets annoying to hear that the sound is only coming from one side. Okay, uh, so now to some of my apps that I like. Um, and the first and best is brushes. Uh, brushes is amazing on the iPad. Here's a little apple I made. And so, if we go back into the gallery, uh, you can see other stuff that I've made. I was bored. So, we'll just make a new one. And so, since I'm very unsteady, holding it with my hands like that, I'll just turn it up that way. 
And so there are tons of different brushes over here. Uh, here's one I like. You can just. I don't know if you can see the coolness of that one. Uh, and so here's the color control panel. That's this one. Little dog prints or something. Uh, actually in here you can change the brushes. You can change the spacing between the brush. And you can change the size of it. And then you can change the opacity. And you can ch tell it to vary size with speed. So if you go really fast, the brush will get small and vice versa. And then you can tell it to vary opacity with speed and it'll do the same thing but with opacity. Uh, and there's different layers that you can work with and you can switch them around. And that's about it. Okay, and then another cool app over here is Tap Tap Radiation. Hard to see that. Mm, that's not the real app. Uh, it's the same people who make Tap Tap Revenge. Uh, for legal copyright reasons and all that crap, uh, I can't actually play a song. Actually, I'll mute it so that you can't hear it, but I'll play it. Supposed to be sideways. You know, you get the idea. Same basic idea as tap tap. And uh, then pages and uh, pages is really cool. I've used it to make a few of my essays and stuff uh, for school. But basically like pages on the computer, just a little bit refined. Uh, I'll show you some of the features that are similar uh, in Keynote. And pages is really not much to show. That's why I didn't actually create a document. But over here, I'm going to create a presentation. Actually, I think I'm on the presentation of my schedule for school. Wherever it is, it's still loading. Wow, this is slow. I'm just going to cut until it works. Okay, and finally it has loaded. Mm. Oh, shoot. Okay, so there are many bugs to work out on Apple's part. But, uh... Come on usually works on like the third try. Okay, whatever. I'm just gonna give up on that. Sorry. Um, and that's about it. Um, I'm working on this little app called Notes. Um, so it comes up with this immediately. There's a little to-do list. You can type in a task and then check or uncheck. I don't think you can see the check that well. And then you can just swipe, and uh, you can delete notes. Oh, sorry. And then you can just shake to delete all. Then you can double tap to create a new note, or you can tap the little notes button over there. This one has not been released yet. Uh, I'm just working on it right now for fun, so you can move a note around like that. To do, and then just tap to edit. Do, 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 do. I don't think you can see any of the text there, but yeah. And so just tap delete and delete, and then double tap with two fingers to oh, double tap with two fingers to put them back in the grid, or press the little grid button up in the corner. And that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll be back with another video soon.